So firstly, apologies for the lack of uploads recently. Very busy transition into the new job, self-employed, second-hand, YouTube, etc. However, you probably don't give two flying about any of that. What you might care about though, is what I've been buying. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Got a bit of a homeless man effect going on with the face. We do need to sort that out somewhat soon. As I say, been quite busy. Mura, full set, four irons pitching wedge, and then three wedges as well. I will tell you exactly how much I've paid for this full set. To be honest, even though I bought it with somewhat of the implication that I could kind of flip them and make a bit of money, like even if I break even, I'm glad. As a golfer for near on 10 years now and a professional golfer this will be the first time i'm ever trying testing a set of mirror irons they're very much infamous only the best ball strikers the most serious players the people that just love the game of golf for the game of golf get a set of Mura irons and it's got a great story behind them thank you to Sean the gentleman that sold them to me um, and I'm just glad to have them on the channel to show you um, and then go and play with them and give you my review on these irons because they're not cheap when it comes to secondhand clubs and when I'm trying to sell them because they are quite expensive just even the fees the posters etc I'll be lucky or I'll be happy to just claw my money back on them but the fact I've got a Mura staff tour bag, three wedges and the irons, they look mean, they don't look forgiving. Um, uh, let me tell you a bit more about them. Also, I should mention I'm down here at Sanford Springs, my new club that I have joined to obviously bring you on course videos as well as practice my left handed stuff and give you reviews such like this. Even though it's not a review, it's kind of me just going playing golf uh, and having a good time and then filming it. Yes, that is kind of what my job is nowadays. Mura CB501. I had an email um, from one of you guys, um, Sean, that was looking to sell his Mura irons. He had recently upgraded and he asked if I was interested. And of course, I emailed straight back and said, yes, I would love to have these in my possession, even if it's for a short amount of time, and then obviously give them a hit, try and test. We've got some NS Pro Shaft Action, multi-compound grips. He did actually buy some brand new grips to go on these clubs, so I'm actually gonna re-grip them myself. Um, uh, and I've got four to pitch and wedge in those, and then I've got some Mura irons, forged irons to go in the bottom there as well. 52, 56, and a 60. Now, the condition of them is very much well used, but that is what I expect from someone that is going to use Mura irons. I expect you to hit balls on a grass range. I expect you to be practicing and playing three to four times a week, purely because of the expense that these were. Now, Sean told me this was a present, birthday present, these never actually came out in black. I think you can get them in black nowadays, but obviously when these first came out, they were chrome and that was it. He then got them custom painted black and then the lettering redone as well. And the one thing I do have to say on second hand clubs, like when the lettering is class, like nothing kills me more than you get a great looking set of irons and then like the paint chip work and the lettering and the number is just gone and it just makes them look so bad so i really don't care that the black's kind of worn off the faces of these um uh, i'm more worried about the craftsmanship that's gone into the back of those heads and honestly all of them even the worst wedge in the bag has great numbering and lettering at the back of them so they do look class they do look good now, what did I actually pay for these irons? So, for the full bag, bag included, three wedges, four to pitch and wedge, and the mirror irons, I've paid £450. Let me know what you think of that price. Now, obviously, these are Japanese, very high, skilled, crafted irons, great quality materials, bag as well, looks class, £450. Now, 
I'll show you some prices actually what you can get these irons for not in the black but obviously in the chrome and like the irons alone are roughly going for like 250 to 300 the irons I imagine I'll probably get like 30 to 40 pounds maybe 50 a push per iron wedge and then the bag I mean the bag is kind of one of those do you put it in your office um, uh, it's probably going to end up in my studio when I finally do get one because I've never seen a Mura bag and it does look epic but in terms of like the flipping value, as I said, once you take eBay fees, postage, they aren't the best flipping item. I'm better off buying a dusty wedge for a fiver than these, but that's not why I've bought them and that's not why I've made um, uh, this video. I've made this video to show you that if you want to have something a bit different, a bit niche, something that you're not gonna see out there, and maybe you've not even heard about Mura irons, you can get them at a reasonably good price. However, if we look at condition as well, they've been well used. I mean, let's not get around it, but that's what I highly expect. It's a very soft metal. Uh, any stones, dirt, grass, in between the ball and the club face is definitely gonna mark it. Um, and as I say, they've been well used, but at the same time, Sean, I think I remember you saying you were off three or four at the time. That's exactly what I expect um, from a secondhand set. The question is, when you're looking at these irons, it's like, who would buy them? And I would very much give this to a player that has been playing the game a long time and they want to have an ultimate control bladed set. Obviously, I haven't gone use them, but just from the head design, you want something a bit sleek, a bit more niche, not quite out there. You've got a bit of money to spend. You could get a set of these and wedges, as I say, all in for five, six hundred pounds and they're going to look class. You could even spend £150 just refurbing them. I mean, if these got sandblasted and repainted and retouched up, they'd look brand new, good as gold. This isn't about tech. This is about craftsmanship. And at the end of the day, these are your tools. You have to have a very good swing to use these, and it's going to be very interesting hitting them right now. So there you have it. There is my purchase. Leave a comment down below on what you think. Personally, I think they look class. I'm going to get on the golf course now. I'm going to play some holes. I'm going to take the camera. Obviously, I'm not taking that bag. I'm going to take my other bag. And I'm going to go play with one of my mates. But I'm going to film me out on the golf course and I'm going to recap my thoughts of those irons literally for you in about 10 seconds. But obviously, you'll see the footage out on the course. But I'm excited. Okay, 18 holes finished nine holes worth of content filmed and i enjoyed that as much as i thought i would do now i'm not going to do a course log as i do feel like i'd be quite flat for this kind of video however as i talk about videos editing simon is coming into full effect and going to give you the kind of shots that i'm talking about as i talk about these golf clubs hopefully you like this format that being said, I will have to show you a couple of my drives as well as um, the two irons I was hitting off the tee. Obviously, this one up to four irons off the tee. I wasn't using these irons, and again, that's kind of why I didn't think the course log um, kind of style of video would work for this video. However, I ripped that two iron. I'm telling you guys now, that two iron I have, I'll show you, and the shots I hit with it, it's just the best club I've ever hit, and I bought it for 60 quid, and it's got this Z cord grip on it, and it's just, I can't rate it enough. So we probably should start at the lower end of the bag. Let's talk about those wedges, because um, the grooves and the condition were probably the worst in, out of the entire set. So normally when I say, um, uh, when you're buying wedges, make sure the grooves are obviously sharp, make sure that there's no major nicks out of them, whatever. And the same is to be said with these wedges. I don't feel like I had as much spin as I normally would, but it was still enough considering this is now July, the ground's dry, the greens have been watered, they're fast. I still had enough of zip, enough touch, enough control with these wedges. And I had three of them, my 52, 56 and 60, to play the shots I wanted to play for the amount of practice I've had from my wedge game. Now. If you've watched a lot of my wedge videos, you'll know that technique when it comes to wedge play is paramount. It doesn't matter if you've got a 10 pound wedge or a 300 pound wedge. If you have not got a sound technique with your wedge, it really doesn't matter what's on the face of it. That being said, a lot of higher end players, if they were to use, um, uh, or let's say low handicap players would use these wedges, they would definitely notice a difference when hitting shots out of the rough, especially wet rough, um, uh, and shots around the green, especially if you're playing Lynx golf and the greens are rock hard and you need it to basically stop and then release. So the wedges didn't produce that. However, I was still able to produce a decent enough game with the wedges and they looked the bomb. Now, all I'm saying is that you could have a set of Mura wedges like I have 
for example, at like £40 each, just to learn, cut your teeth on, whatever. Yes, you could buy a full set of wedges that I've done in other videos for 40 quid and do exactly the same thing. I wouldn't rate one against the other. However, the newer wedges look cool. I will show you what my bag looked like, by the way. I need to tell you that. My bag, bag looked epic, and to be honest, if these don't sell, I'm going to probably put them on eBay at quite a high price because to be honest, I'd rather just keep them in the bag. I mean, if they sell for something, then brilliant. If someone wants to buy them, that's all great. But to be honest, they look so good in the bag. Um, and that probably gives you a bit of an idea of what kind of rating I'm actually going to give the irons now in the next bit of this video. So the irons. Now, I pretty much got to hit the majority of the irons. I don't think I hit the nine iron, but I'm pretty sure I hit the wedge, the eight, the seven, the six, whatever. Now, my yardages were out because these are blades and I just feel like they're gonna go so much shorter than my tailor-made PSI irons that I have. However, these things, I don't know how to describe it. They just felt solid. Like, even though there's such little behind the golf ball, for whatever reason, I felt like every shot came out the middle. I mean, if you've ever hit like a Japanese forged blade, I guess that's probably the only way I can describe it. That's probably the only thing that's changed over the last 10 years, 15 years worth of like blades back in the old days to now is that blades just feel more forgiving, even though they still give you that level of control and that ball flight. Like I was hitting the seven, okay, the four and the five look scary as. I mean, I hooked a massive four. It definitely wasn't the club, but I wanted to hit four just so that I was hitting more irons than I should have. Like this shot down the par five, you see now, I should have hit my two iron there because that would have got on the green, but I wanted to do the four and I hooked it massively because I tried to overhead it. Now the four and five are scary. And to be honest, combo set probably would be best, especially for a player that practice, well, I get to practice now, thank you very much. Um, but for someone that practice very um, little like I have, um, uh, the four, five, potentially the six, just too bladed for me. I'm just not, I haven't got the ball striking or the forgiveness. Still felt great, like when I hit that hook, it felt great, I hit it out the middle, I felt like I hit it out the middle. The lower end of the bag was just lovely. Seven, eight, nine, I ripped some absolute shots. You'll see me absolutely flush this seven iron from like 180 out, out the back of the green. Okay, it was a tiny bit downwind, um, uh, but I've just hit this and it went over the flag the whole way and I just thought that's in the hole and then it's just hit the bank and then bounced out of the back. And okay, I don't have the yardages for these, but what I have found through this secondhand testing is that no matter what, club I put in my hand now, whether it's the MP37s from last week, um, these Mura irons, all different price tags, all different shafts, all different grips, I kind of just swing it and hit it the same, like I still get the same kind of effect. Now these feel much better than those MP37s. But at the time I was using the MP37s, especially for the 80 quid price tag, for the full set, they felt as good as anything I've ever hit. Now if I was to compare them between this and those, you could feel the difference. This just feels heavier. It feels like a lump of lead behind the golf ball, but doesn't look like it. Stiff flex shaft. Again, I didn't feel like I was losing it at all. To be honest, when it comes down to shafts now, the amount or little I play, it really doesn't make that much difference. If I have a reg steel, stiff steel, X stiff steel, I feel like I've played the game enough that I get an idea of where the head is, what the head's doing. After I've hit a few balls, after I've played a few holes, I kind of manoeuvre about, and it's only because now I get the time to test and try so many different golf clubs, that's why this is also quite cool. Um, you get to realise that actually behind all of it is that what works for you? I might find a 40-year-old set of reg graphite, did they make graphite then? Reg steel irons that I just flush. And let's be honest, that's all that matters. If you hit something that you like the look of, feel of, and it goes towards the target, it doesn't matter what on the label, it doesn't matter the loft, it doesn't matter the grip, or how much it costs, because you're going to play better golf. I think this best summarises my review of these clubs, and I want to keep this nice and short. I was having a beer afterwards with my mate outside, and my bag was sitting next to the table, and I stopped in mid-conversation and just said, just have a look at my bag quickly, and you had this four to pitching wedge and the wedges sitting there underneath my two woods, and they just looked incredible. And he said, you really shouldn't sell those. 
to the point that I hit them good enough and I think that's probably the moral of this video is that I've hit them good enough that I could gain these and if I practice 30 hours a week and I play three times and I do this that my game's going to improve and these are going to give me everything that I need them to do. So yes the equipment is somewhat in my wheelhouse my level my ability my club head speed but more importantly I love the look I love the feel and that's also the other half of the story that's why I'm going to be reluctant to get rid of these and again thank you Sean for selling them for me and again that's something I want to get across to you guys is if you find a lovely set of irons you love the look you've been able to hit them and you get them at a great bargain by all means hit them and put them in the bag don't worry what's on the shaft, don't worry what's on the head, don't worry what your mates are thinking because I want you to be able to enjoy practicing and playing with the clubs that you've got in your bag. So guys, there you have it. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. As I say, they're incredible. Thank you to Sean for obviously selling them to me. Um, I will potentially, well, I've got to feed my child. So I've probably got to sell these on and invest that money into more secondhand clubs and everything else. But in the meantime, whilst they haven't sold, um, I'm very much enjoying, well, they're not gonna sell by tomorrow. So I'm gonna be able to play golf with them tomorrow, 10 a.m., 18 holes, which I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, and in the meantime, at least I get to use them, play with them, enjoy them for the short space of time that I might have them in my possession. Guys, if you wouldn't mind leaving this video a like, subscribe if you're new. Thank you ever so much for putting me in this position. See you later.